It has been a huge honour to be Prime Minister of this great country, in particular to lead the nation in mourning the death of Her Late Majesty the Queen after 70 years of service and welcoming the accession of His Majesty King Charles III. In just a short period, this government has acted urgently and decisively on the side of hard-working families and businesses. We reversed the national insurance increase. We helped millions of households with their energy bills and helped thousands of businesses avoid bankruptcy. We are taking back our energy independence, so we are never again beholden to global market fluctuations or malign foreign powers. From my time as Prime Minister, I am more convinced than ever that we need to be bold and confront the challenges that we face. As the Roman philosopher Seneca wrote, it's not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it's because we do not dare that they are difficult. We simply cannot afford to be a low growth country where the government takes up an increasing share of our national wealth and where there are huge divides between different parts of our country. We need to take a Ukraine must prevail and we must continue to strengthen our nation's defences. That's what I have been striving to achieve and I wish Rishi Sunak every success for the good of our country. I want to thank Hugh, Francis Liberty, my family and friends and all the team at number 10 for their love, friendship and support. I also want to thank my protection team. I look forward to spending more time in my constituency and continuing to serve South West Norfolk from the back benches. Our country continues to battle through a storm. But I believe in Britain. I believe in the British people. And I know that brighter days lie ahead. Thank you.